Hello everyone. Today I'm bringing you another eBay find. And it is of a product, or I should say a manufacturer, that I reviewed before. If you remember a few weeks ago, I did a video about a Renergy 10 watt solar panel. Well, today I'm bringing you a review of a Renergy solar panel, but this one is 21 watts. So yes, it has 11 watts more power in it. It's a little bit bigger as you can see. And it actually has three solar panels in it. Now, let me close it back up. It is a nice nylon fiber case that they come in. And if you notice, they got these little loops around each side here. There's a total of five of them. There's one on the flap so you can hang maybe off your backpack this way or off a tree, off a fence. And then you got some on either side and that's either to hold them down here, you know, maybe sideways or just maybe uh, just to hold it down if it may be windy or whatever. And you can, as you see, there is three different solar panels there. You do get some nice Velcro to help keep it closed up. And in here, they do give you some, a little bit of directions right here. Also, right here is a little pocket on the inside. They do give you two carbiners, so you can just put them through the loops like that. And that way, maybe if you want to hang it or clip it somehow to your backpack or wherever, you can do that. Plus, they do give you a charging cable. It's a full-size USB on one end and a micro USB on the other. And inside the pocket, there is two USB ports right there on the inside. Now, let's talk a little bit about the solar panel. Now, it is water resistant. It's not waterproof. It's water resistant. Especially this part here with the ports in it, it's not waterproof. So if it's maybe a very light rain, it'll be fine in. But if it starts getting any heavier than a light rain, I would definitely get it out of the rain, okay? Um, it does have a function in it, uh, an auto connect function, which means like if the sun goes out underneath some dark clouds or some kind of shade like that, once direct sunlight hits the solar panels again, the circuitry inside will detect that and start charging your device once again. So it's not like some of those other ones where if the sunlight goes out, it just stops charging. And when the sunlight comes on, you have to go and physically unplug your device and plug it back in. No, with this, it has an auto reconnect into it. You do get a one year warranty from Renergy so that is also very nice and very cool of them to do. Now, um, it also has something called iSolar Tech, or at least what Renergy calls iSolar Tech, which means that it identifies your device and what kind of a charge that device needs and it charges it accordingly. Now, with your two ports, each port delivers five volts at two amps. Once again, let me say that again for you. Each port is five volts, two amps. It's up to two amps, I should say. Now, what that means is that it all has to depend upon the intensity and the direction of the sunlight hitting these solar panels. If it's kind of a somewhat of an overcast day, a little bit of clouds coming by, that amperage will probably not hit two amps, okay? But if it's direct sunlight coming right directly under, no clouds in the sky, it can deliver up to two amps to your device. So that is really, really nice. So just keep that in mind. These are not really designed yet anyway to replace your wall charger or even uh, like your car charger, you know, the kind that you put in your accessory port or cigarette lighter. These are 
getting there. They're getting to be pretty good, but they will not totally 100% replace those as of yet. Give them time, solar panels have been getting better and better with each passing year. But before I go down and show you the testing, why do I recommend something like this? Well, just recently here in the hot summer in Michigan, uh, down like towards the Detroit area, there's been a lot of people without power for a few good days and it gets awfully hot. Now, if you had a, say a battery operated uh, fan, even though it may go dead, you know, the battery, as long as it's rechargeable battery on the inside, you can charge, recharge that battery with a solar panel, something like this. By the way, I will be having a kind of a review on this coming up in a few weeks, so be, you know, watch out for it. Now on this fan, it is battery operated. Let me, and that's on the lowest setting. That's medium, and that's high. I don't know if the microphone's picking it up or not. I'll get to find out when I'm editing the video, but the point I'm trying to make about this is this thing takes an 18650 battery, see right there, but you can also charge it via the USB port, micro USB port right there. So like I was saying, during them hot, you know, that heat wave we just had a few weeks ago here in Michigan, there was a lot of people without power. So obviously it gets very hot. And even if they had a fan like that, yes, the battery's going to go dead. Well, if they had at least one of these fans, they could have hooked it up to the solar panel, stuck it outside for a few hours, or maybe even longer and charged up that battery a little bit more. It may not be a full charge, but at least they'll still be able to use it. Same thing goes with a flashlight. At night, uh, well, it gets awfully dark and some people, you know, don't like burning candles all night long or burning candles, period, so you can use a flashlight or a lantern. Well, some of those flashlights and lanterns also have a micro USB port where you can recharge the battery on the inside of that unit. Once again, you can use this. As soon as the sun comes up, if you're awake and then batteries, even if they're not dead, if they're, you know, you used it and they're still juicing it, top them off as best as you can with something like this. Same thing goes with your phone or your tablet, especially your phone, because on a hot weather day like that, you may have to call, you know, for an emergency. Cause you know, a landline, may, a lot of people don't even have landlines anymore. So you can always have something like this to be prepared. And Renergy, these solar panels, yes, I would highly recommend you getting either this one here, the 21 watt, or the 10 watt one that I reviewed, you know, a little while back. I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. And I will leave the link to where you can find us on eBay as well in the description below. So it's another great solar panel from Renergy that I highly recommend that you get. And get it now because it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So until the next video, you have a fantastic day. Okay, I got my Renergy solar panel set up right now. And let me show you the sky. I don't know how good the camera's going to bring it up. But there's not a whole lot of clouds in the sky. So it is getting some really good direct sunlight. Now I already have my meter plugged in and as you can see without anything else plugged in the panel is pulling in 5.32 volts. All right. So what I'm going to do there's the cord that came with the solar panel. And here's my phone. It is 12.38 in the afternoon. And let me get over to the shade a little bit. And as you can see, my battery right here is pretty dead. It's about maybe one-third left. What I'm going to do is set my phone down. And I am going to plug my phone in. 
and come back in an hour and see how much this has been charged up in an hour. But first, let me pause the video, and then what I'm going to do is plug my phone into the USB tester to see how much power my phone is pulling in. Just a moment. Okay, as you can see, I got my phone right there plugged into the, to the tester. And it is, my phone is pulling in 5.26 volts at 1.11, uh, let's just say 1.10 amps. And let me get back in the shade here again. And it is charging. Not sure if the camera will focus in on this, but you can see a little blinking plug on the battery there. That means it's charging. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pause the video one more time. I'm going to take off this right here because not everybody's going to have this attached whenever you're out and about trying to charge up a phone or whatever device. So I'm going to disconnect this so all the power that is coming from the solar panel will go into the phone and then I'll come back in an hour and we'll see just how much the battery has been charged. Okay, I'm inside the house now, and you can see it's just about halfway full. So I probably got about 15 to 20 percent uh, battery charge for the hour and 10 minutes from the solar panel. And I did leave the Wi-Fi on right there, as you can see. And the reason why I left the Wi-Fi on is because the Wi-Fi is always searching, or your device is always searching for the signal. Not to mention, your device is always looking for updates and things of that nature. So I wanted to see how good this, the solar panel is by delivering power and how well it can charge a device with something like the Wi-Fi turned on. Ideally, you would want to turn anything off like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi just so your battery isn't being used up as much and you can get... Uh, quicker charge onto your battery. 